All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more FIFA 23 Everton career mode. We are back and we are continuing on where we left off. We are second in the league. We're popping off and we're playing bottom place Brighton now with zero points after the first five games. And we are level on points with Arsenal, the league leaders in real life. Um, but maybe not for long if this ma game against Man City goes against them. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for the support on this series, C the continued support on this series, because I know I started this when FIFA 23 came out. It's been a long time running now. Appreciate the support into the third season. And uh, Everton lost to Liverpool last night. Absolutely pathetic performance, honestly, last night. I was... I was really sickened by that because when you saw the Arsenal performance, you were like, yeah, maybe we're on the up and up here. But I mean, it was really bad. It was really, really bad against um, against Liverpool. Like every, not one player really played well. Not one player from the 11 played well. And that's, that's just unacceptable really when you think about it. Like to have not one player play well. Uh, I'm actually going to start a Wobie right minute. I'm going to start Pulisic. McNeil was absolute dog shit yesterday by the way i don't think i can start him in this career mode ever again considering how bad he was yesterday i mean he was atrocious like he just does not touch the ball with his right foot that first goal was like the first liverpool goal we hit the post that came back to mcneil and for some reason he decides to take a touch and bring it on to his left when he could have just hit it with his right and that that cost us a goal honestly like i'm not saying it's all his fault that the goal happened obviously because it was a quick counter attack from liverpool it was good but um it was just an unacceptable performance from everyone and it seemed like Daesh had no black backup plan at all if that was Lampard and we played like that yesterday uh he would get absolutely slated like he, Lampard would have been absolutely slated uh but uh I mean hopefully we can get back to the the form we had against Arsenal in the Leeds game because that Leeds game is absolutely massive massive my friends that's a six pointer down at the bottom there if we beat Leeds we get out of the relegation zone um, because everyone around us right now is gaining points every single team around us is gaining points except like maybe Southampton but you look at the teams that were kind of in the relegation fight they're all gaining points Wolves are pretty much nearly getting themselves out of it here um, Leicester getting themselves out of it as well they beat Spurs 4-1 um, there's a couple more teams that have just been picking up points as well Nottingham Forest started picking up points um, Leeds drew at Man United they did just lose to Man United as well though so I think the Leeds game is the most important one honestly because that is the team that is kind of struggling as much as us right now I think Southampton are gone honestly I really do believe that I think Southampton are, are just absolutely too far gone but we'll see I mean they're still in it as well if they have a if they get a good manager in after Nathan Jones and get a couple of results together off the new manager bounce they're back in the hunt as well Bournemouth I think I think Bournemouth and Southampton will go down and then I think it's between what a save Pickford and then I think it's between anyone else um in the bottom half honestly maybe there's a few teams up near the top of the bottom half that are not going to go down but uh Jesus Christ that's come on but yeah it's just like Every team around there seems to be suddenly finding a little bit of form. Ooh, great tackle. Great tackle. We need. We can't lose the bottom place Brighton here, lads. Come on. No. Wow, what a goal. What a goal. I mean, they're all over us here early. They're all over us here early. And Zakiri scores for Brighton. Guys, if you want to get 20% off Rogue Energy, uh, you can also lose 1-0 in FIFA like me. Um, so, yeah, mix some Rocket Pop with Fruit Punch today. Should be a good mixture. Thanks for the support, guys. Um on the channel in general recently it means a lot and on the second channel as well with Hogwarts Legacy I'm going to have a lot more content coming up there as well but good finish there by Zakiri it really was a great finish Pickford uh, for the first goal yesterday what the hell was he doing yeah I, I just see I don't like the kind of narrative that Lampard was absolutely terrible for us now that he's gone and Dyche came in and won a game because I saw yesterday we would have lost that game 5 or 6 nil under Lampard and I'm like dude I don't think we lost a single game that much under Lampard. Uh, definitely not this season anyway. I think we lost the Spurs maybe 5-0 under Lampard. But uh, yeah, we would not have lost five that game 5-0 under Lampard. Lampard went to Anfield and got a 0-0 draw against Liverpool uh, when Liverpool were in much better form. Um, so I just don't like this narrative. I'm not saying Lampard would have got a better result yesterday. I'm not saying that either. But to say he would have, we would have lost like five or six nil under Lampard. It's like, what? What are you talking about, man? No, we wouldn't have. Uh, anyway. Let's get it, my friends. Let's get it. My blues. These are shit, these. Brighton, rock bottom, which is kind of strange, actually, considering how good they are in real life at the moment. Nuri. And here's eight Nuri. Oh, Pulisic was just too hard on the pass. Werner. Palinha. 
Werner wins it, yes! In off the post and Timo Werner continues his hot form. What a goal from Timo Werner. What a finish that was. Lightning quick, just a beautiful little finish there. And there you have it, my friends. There you have it. Timo Werner scores the goal to get the Toffees back on level terms here. It was a good pass by Werner. Paulinho hit the shot. I don't know what happened here, but Werner just stole it. And in off the post, Timo Werner scores. Let's go, boys. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen the difference if we had gone 1-0 up there with that Tarkovsky header that hit the post instead of them countering and going 1-0 up. Like, would we have held on to win the game or were they just back on form? Like, that could have crushed their confidence completely. Like, you know, it would have been very interesting if we, if we went 1-0 up, I think. I think at worst it would have been a draw. All right, Awobi, come on. Let's get back 2-1 up now. No, I was trying to pass it out. Calvert Lewin need uh, uh, Calvert Lewin's fitness is possibly the most important thing to the rest of our season, by the way. Like I mean, so vitally important because you saw yesterday, Sims. Uh, I don't want to knock a young lad, but he was absolutely atrocious. And uh, I know he was isolated and stuff like that, but every time the ball came into him, he would miscontrol it. Uh, and I just don't think he's up to playing at this level. I think if, if Calvert-Lewin's out, Malpe and Sims need to start together, you know, because I don't think either of them are good enough to start by themselves up top. But then that leads the midfield open. Onana should score. Oh, we're in trouble. Good tackle, Godfrey. Important as well, because Tarkovsky was out of position. But now he is, but Godfrey's out of position. Oh my God, it's wide. I thought that was 2-1. I thought that was 2-1. Holy mackerel, my friends. We're haunted there. Absolutely haunted. All right. No. Good interception, Godfrey, that. Important. Palinha finds Werner, and it's half time. 1-1. Okay. Need a better second half here. Better second half away from home. And apologies to Alex for having to cut her off. Just to confirm, Arsenal... Ulicic finds Calvert-Lewin. Dominic Calvert-Lewin gets past his man. Calvert-Lewin. Oh, Nana it goes in. Yes. I thought the keeper saved him. He did. But it just kind of rebounds and goes in anyway. It had too much spin on the ball. And Amadou Onana is the man to put Everton ahead here. What a goal. Calvert-Lewin done really well there. Bullets down the line. Great pass. Good save, but it just wasn't enough. He saved it with his face, I think, you know. Oh, nah, nah. No, it was actually with his hand, but it just actually he should be doing better, honestly. And it goes through his hands. Lampard loves it. The Toffees love it. And Everton are 2 1 up against Brighton. Massive goal there. Massive goal. In our hunt for top four, our hunt for Europe. Can we finally get in the European positions this season? Let's find out. Nathan Patterson with a good tackle there. Everton are on the march here. They're high on confidence. Oh, Calvert-Lewin steals it! Oh, have you missed him? Oh, Dom, you have to be scoring that, man. You have to be scoring that. Damn it. All right. Oh. All right, I'm going to make a change, I think. I'm going to bring on Kasper Dolberg. Well, actually, I'm going to rest Kasper Dolberg. Look, he's tired. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the 4-4-4-1. Bring on Garner as well for Onana. Oh, Nana just got the goal. Give him a bit of a rest for the rest of the game. I was like, I don't have Holgate anymore. <laughs> I was confused there for a second. <laughs> All right, go on, Alex. Awobi finds Kudus, who has plenty of time, and he's fresh legs as well. Mohamed Kudus. Oh, I just made the angle a little too tight. I thought maybe I could squeeze it in at the near post. Good tackle by Awobi, though. And the cross into the middle. Kudus, down to Paulinho. Why didn't you take that, Paulinho? Ghana! Oh. Jesus Christ, like. Oh, what a touch from Iwobi. Iwobi beats his man beautifully. It's Iwobi v. Holgate. Former teammate, Alex Iwobi. Yeah, yes, what a goal. Iwobi, I thought he maybe just missed his moment with the pass, but he didn't. Timothy Weya just off the bench. Finishes it for Everton. It's 3-1 to the Toffees, and it's game over. There's actually a good pass in the end, and Kudus gets out of the way away a shot. Away a way a shot. And it's 3-1 to the Toffees, and that is game over, my friends. Big three points. Lampard's Everton are on the march here. Uh oh. Good save, Pickford. Important save there as well, because we were under the cosh for the last five minutes otherwise. 
It will be McNeil for a will be sure that's around the clock down. Get Dwight McNeil on. Every last second counts. McNeil, you're shit, lad. <laughs> I thought I could score from the halfway line there, but McNeil has a terrible shot with his left foot. And that's his good foot, too. He doesn't have a right foot, actually, because he doesn't bloody use it. Oh, I wish I came to Dolberg or something, though. All right, come on, boys. Finish him off here. Make it four. Udis with a beautiful pass, and Dolberg is so strong. The strength of this young man, Kasper Dolberg. Oh, I should have maybe gone for it a little earlier, but I think I left it too late, and then uh, the best I could do was a corner. James Ghana floats it in there. What are you doing? Shoot, Godfrey. I was pressing circle the whole time. He just chests it down. But it doesn't matter. It's 3-1. It's a big W. We pile misery on Brighton and we pile the pressure on Arsenal at the top of the league. Frank Lampard's Everton are on the march. Come on, boys. Massive that. Absolutely massive. What a game. What a game, my friends. Nine shots to nine. Justin Che is available after suspension. Well, I'm never using him, so. All right, Chelsea up next, boys. Big game. Big game here, because if we win this, we probably will be top of the table, honestly. Are we top now? We might be top right now. Training day, 4-4-2 flat. Maybe we'll stick with that for the game against Chelsea, or should we go to the 4-4-1-1? I'm not sure. Let's have a look and see what Chelsea are up to here. Where are they in the league? They're sixth, and we are still second. Okay, Arsenal are ahead only by one on goal difference. Only by one, my friends. So here we go. Chelsea at home, and uh, they have... They have won three, lost, or drawn three? No, they've uh, won three, drawn two, and lost one. Okay, well, let's make it two. Let's even it out there, huh? Let's go, boys. Come on, this is a massive game. <clears throat> what do I do with the team? Do I leave it? I feel like I leave it. I don't want to make any crazy changes when things are going well. So uh, we'll play the same team we just played. It will be, of course, in for McNeil. And we'll put Pulisic on the left. Dolberg's kind of knocking on the door for a start, honestly, and maybe Werner go out left and Pulisic right. I feel like that could be a really good way to, to play this, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's go, boys. Blues. blues and boys put together is what I was trying to do there, but didn't come out. All right, boys, come on. Everton v Chelsea. Lukaku up front for Chelsea. I probably should have changed their kit, honestly, because it... It is kind of just clashing a little bit. It's not, it's not, not a, uh, too bad, but it's just annoying. All right, Patterson, have him. Oh, that's what is happening. All right, come on. Timo Werner finds Alex Iwobi. Alex Iwobi looking to have a run here. I went out of play. I couldn't see the bloody line. That's why. That shit was coming up on my screen. I couldn't see the line. I didn't think I was out of play. Oh, good save Pickford. Lukaku out of nothing there. Gets a shot away on his right peg. All right. What happened to Lukaku, by the way? Has he just fallen off of the face of the earth? Is he is he really bad now? Or like, I, I, I never hear anything about him at all anymore. Good tackle. Good tackle, Godfrey. Important tackle. I played that as a through ball, not a pass, but it's okay. Pulisic has got the pace against his former team here. Werner and Pulisic both against their former teams. And Mendy is there. Kepa's not starting. I need to sign Kepa. Just not who I was trying to pass to. Absolutely just not who I was trying to pass to, and that's going to cost us a goal. Thank God. I would have been fuming. I was just not trying to pass to that man there. Ah, so what am I doing, guys? Now that I was trying to do, but that was a stupid pass when you think about it. Great tackle, Godfrey, but it comes right back to Lukaku, of course! Good save, Pickford. Good save, Pickford. Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here. Chelsea are all over us early. All over us like a rash. It will be. It will be. Makes it dark for that corner flag. Giving him too much space. The back heel, Calvert Lewin. Brilliant play. Go on. Be. It will be back post, but right into Price Mendy's grasp again. Calvert Lewin. Just got through to Calvert Lewin, and Calvert Lewin gets it back to a Wobi. Wobi takes on Chilwell and beats him easily. Alex Wobi. Looking for something. Mendy somehow saves it there. I thought that was going back post to Pulisic. I thought that was going to be a tap-in header at the back post. Wasn't far away from it, you know. Pulisic. Palinha! Headed off the line. 
Paulinho to Werner. Werner. Oh! Calvin Lewin! Saved! What is happening, guys? Is it offside? Oh, okay. Jesus. I was wondering why Calvert Lewin just stopped. When when was it offside? Oh, Nana didn't touch it, though. Oh, Nana literally didn't even touch it. Why? Why did he? Did he get up and touch? I don't think Onana touched that. So that's a bullshit call, ref. That was our first real opportunity, though. Definitely, we're getting space down on a Wobie's wing. He's getting into those positions, and that, finally he got a got a good cross in there, and um, nearly led to it being one nil. Oh my God! What the hell, Pickford? Just catch that! Just catch that, please! All right, it's Dolberg time, boys. It's Casper time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Werner on the left. I'm going to put Pulisic on the right. And I'm going to put uh, Dolberg on for a Wobi. And we're going to try that for the start of our, for the rest of the second half. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get it. Onana's getting kind of tired. I might bring on James Garner soon as well. I have a feeling Dolberg's getting the winner here. I just get an, a lovely little feeling about that. I think he's going to be a stunner for us. I think Kasper Dolberg is going to be a little dancer for us, mate. What is that? What is that, Pulisic? What is if that cost us a goal? You're getting off the pitch and never playing for us again, you wanker. What was that pass like? You're lucky. You're lucky, Christian. Dolberg. That's like these passes are actually embarrassing now at this point. Like, what am I trying to fucking pass to the opposition here? That's what it feels like, genuinely. And again, again, I just can't pass to my own players right now. That's going to cost us a goal. What a save, Jordan! Jesus, what a save, Jordan Pickford. You legend. Chelsea are all over us here, though. We need to cop the hell on immediately. Well done, Tark. Great tackle, Godfrey. Yes. That's game. All right. Nil nil draw. Honestly, I'll take it because towards the end there, it was looking like we were going to lose. We just could not string a couple of passes together. Nil nil draw against Chelsea at home. I'll take that. I'll take that all day long. All right, one more game to play in this video, and I think it's against Brentford away. I saw Chelsea definitely deserve to win that game. Honestly, like look at that, two point four expected goals compared to zero point five. We just defended resolutely. Didn't play well at all, but Pickford had a good game, and uh, yeah, he was man of the match. Not surprisingly, he was man of the match. That was a nothing performance, though. I don't think we really even had an opportunity. It was poor. We didn't create anything at all. Uh, let's see if we can if we can get back to winning ways against Brentford, though. That was a it was an important result to get a point there because Chelsea obviously tough game away or at home even to Chelsea. But um, all right, Brentford down near the bottom as well. We are now third. Jesus Christ, we lost the position. Come on, man, really? <laughs> oh, jeez. We have five wins, one draw, one loss, and we're. Uh, third, Arsenal, six wins. Two points ahead of us now. Oh, no, I didn't change anything. I didn't mean to press X there. Uh, you know what? It's okay. I don't need to make changes, but I was going to make maybe a couple changes, but whatever. Whatever. Well, I wasn't going to start McNeil anyway, that's for sure, but whatever. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be good. Come on, boys. Hold on, Pickford. Important clearance there. What the hell? It's just open. Oh, Nana couldn't get there, man. Why would you not pass? Oh, I tried to pass it right to Pulisic, but he just didn't. Oh, man. Oh, Nana was so nearly in there. So Brentford leaves space on the counter. That's good to know. So let's have a look at the table and the chances there for the visitors to go top. Albert Lewin to Werner. Emo Werner. Back post. Pulisic was there, but cannot win it. Werner does. Pulisic! Oh! That would have been sickeningly good there if that went in. That would have been class. Oh, great opportunity. Great great effort as well from Pulisic, though, I must say. No. No! How did he get in there, man? How did he get in? Oh. Jesus. How did he get in behind the defense there and score? Nightmarish, that. Look at the kid. <laughs> That's Hasbala. <laughs> the kid in the background had the biggest head I've ever seen. All right, that's funny. But what's not funny is the fact that we're losing at home to Brentford. Wait, are we at home? No, we're away, sir. All good. Wow, that's an awful pass from Dominic Albert lewin but okay. Onana finds McNeil. 
Ah, for God's sake, Dwight. Ah, for God's sake. Keep that in, please. Thank you, Aitnori. Well done. Oh, Nana. Dwight McNeil. Oh, Nana. Oh, I tried to get it to Calvert Lewin. I probably should have just taken a touch and shot. Burner finds Eight Nori. Eight Nori finds Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin, what is that shot? There's a corner. Oh, okay. It was a deflection. Okay. I thought he just literally like tried to lob it up. I was like, what the hell? Calvert Lewin! Saved! Yes! Paulinho scores! Is it offside? No, it's not. It's onside. Perfect. Yes! Come on. I changed my controller profile. I didn't even mean to do that, but yes. Massive, boys. Good header from Calvert Lewin. Good save, but... I mean, not much you could do for the second one, honestly. It's a great finish from Paulinho from that angle. It really was. Fair play on his left foot, and Paulinho equalizes. He loves it. Look at that. Okay, Paulinho, you got the dance moves. I see it. I see it. I see it. I, see it. I, I represent it. I respect it is what I mean to say. I don't represent it. Yo, Paulinho gets Everton back on level terms. I'd love if we had a player like Paulinho. The tackle from Dwight. Oh, Nana finds Werner, and Everton could counter and absolutely devastate Brentford here. Werner does. Oh, just not enough on the pass. Not enough on the pass to find Calvert Lewin. Hold on, Onana. Great tackle from Onana. Great tackle. I don't know what the Brentford fans are on about. The perfect tackle. Pulisic over the top for Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin's not quite going to get there, unfortunately. Half time. Oh my God, what is he doing? What is he doing? Did he, what the hell? I was just not expecting that. I wasn't ready for that at all. <laughs> all right. All right, boys. Brentford v Everton. Here we go. Second half. Live on Sky Sports. And it's live. What is that, Bernie? Why do I always do shit passes from the tip-off? All the time. Who's he giving a free to? For what? Like, what even happened, man? I didn't even see a foul. Why does Eight Nori kind of look like Ella Sims with this haircut? I'm not sure it was a goal-scoring opportunity. Oh. It wasn't a goal to... I don't even know where the foul was, to be honest. Oh, he's gone for goal. And a goal almost bewitching. Are you serious? Are you serious, man? I need to see where the free was. Like, what was the free for? It, it was Godfrey that got booked. Does Godfrey take him out off the ball here? Oh, he takes him out off the ball. For fuck's sake. I was like, I was about to be like, there's no free kick there. And that costs us a goal, though. Yikes, 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 my friends. Yikes. Trying to make some changes. Okay. I'm going to play Paulinho CDM. I'm going to take off Onana. I'm going to bring on Mohamed Kudus. I'm going to take off McNeil. Put Werner left and put Dolberg on. And I'm going to bring on Timothy Weya for Pulisic. And we're going to go with that. We have more live action from the great tackle by Tarkovsky there. Really great tackle by Tarkovsky. Timothy Weah. Kudus. Dolberg! Oh! Great tackle, Godfrey. Great tackle, Godfrey. Come on. What a pass! It's not even who I was trying to pass it to, but it could work! Kudus is in! Boom! Literally an accidental through ball for a goal. Mohamed Kudus levels it up. It's 2-2. Let's go. Come on. We're back in business now. We're going for all three points. I ain't settling for a point against Brentford here. We're going for all three. Well, Mohamed Kudus with a brilliant finish. It was the pass from Werner, was it? It was a brilliant pass, actually. I was trying to pass it down the wing. But we passed it straight into Kudus, and Kudus buries it. Buries it beautifully. Mohamed Kudus gets Everton back on level terms just only moments after coming off the bench. My subs have been good in this video. Tactical masterclass from the Toffees here. Home to Brentford now, or home to... Br why can't I say Bournemouth? Wait, why? Home to Bournemouth next, so that's definitely a winnable game. If we can win this one, go home to Bournemouth and go top of the league. Who knows? Palinha. Nathaniel Patterson. Come on, Nathan. Ah, it's twice now, Nathan. It's just run into trouble. No. What a save! Oh, what a save from Jordan Pickford. Unbelievable. That's massive. After a nil-nil draw against Chelsea, we've decided to have a high-scoring game against Brentford. Werner gets there, but he gets tackled immediately. 
Tackle by Tark. And Tark brings it away. Come on. Counter Toffees. Why does no one want to run forward even when we're attacking? Now they do. Now they do. Dolberg. Brilliant touch from Kasper Dolberg. Oh. Defender got across. The angle was just a little too tight at the end there. Damn it. I maybe should have passed that. This is end-to-end -end stuff now, my friends. End-to-end -end stuff. Gonna be a winner here. I don't think this is gonna end 2-2. I really don't. Patterson blocks it. But it goes right back to Brentford. Great save from Pickford again. Keep that in, eh, Nori? Oh, it's out. Damn it, man. Garner left mid. No, thanks. Great tackle from Tark again. But he pa I keep passing it right back to him, lads. Let's get it out. Thank you. All right. We're safe. And he's clear his lines. Pickford's ball. What the fuck did I just witness? Jordan, what are you doing? Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they... How is he not offside? ...with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. How is he not offside there? Not much the keeper can do about What are you doing, Jordan? He ducks down before the ball. And how is this not offside? Who keeps him on? When's the ball When's the ball made contact with? Here. Okay. Fucking Patterson's way back there. I thought he was well offside for a second there. But what is Jordan Pickford doing? That's a shocking, shocking goal to concede there in such an important match. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it. I told you it wasn't going to be 2 2. Maybe now we need to make it. That's a red card, ref. That's a red card. That was horrible. I think he's injured Dolberg here as well. That was a horrible tackle, man. What was he doing? What are you talking about? What is going on with this game? How is that a free kick? What the fuck is happening? Nearly cost us another goal, but what is actually happening with this game? How was that a free kick in any universe, man? What is this ref on? What is this game? Game has just been a mess, man. Great tackle, Garner. I just can't believe what we've witnessed here today, to be honest. Brilliant pass from Kudus. And eight Nori's going forward. No one seems to want to storm forward with him, though, unfortunately. He's all alone. Dolberg. Oh, Dolberg, you had to find a Wobie there. We were in. Like, I mean, I have one more chance, and that's what I decide to do. That's what I decide to do, really. The Wobie finds Casper Dolberg. Come on, Dolberg. Fucking hell, he bullied me off the ball there. Way up. Oh, could be. That's could shocking! Be Shit! How have we lost this game, man? I don't know why we lost this game. I really don't. What a shit mistake from Pickford. Absolutely pathetic mistake from Jordan Pickford. I can hardly believe it, honestly. I can hardly believe it. Oh. The goals we conceded in that game were just horrendous, man. They were absolutely horrendous. Oh my god, Tarkovsky's man of the match and we still conceded three goals. I'll tell you how shit a performance that was. Absolutely abysmal. Abysmal, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's sickening. Sickening to the max. But what can you do, eh? What can you do? All right, we have Bournemouth at home and then we have Watford away in the cup. So two big games coming up. We've slipped to fifth and like we're gone outside the top four now after drawing a loss. We were sec we went from second to fifth. All right. Well, that's unfortunate, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back with more FIFA 23 Everton career mode in the, in the near future. Really appreciate this support, and I'll see you guys next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Uh, make sure to keep the likes coming, keep the support coming, and I will see you guys soon.